We can always stay a little longer. We don't have a plan. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we are going to do a weekly meal plan. Um, eventually I would like to build myself up to do um, a meal plan for a whole month, but I am realistic in my expectations of myself. So I will be doing this in my Silk and Sonder for May. This is what this looks like. I have a whole video on this. I also have links down below if you'd like to check them out. Um, every week they have a meal plan section, which you guys will see because that's what I will be planning it in. Um, which I don't, uh, before May, I didn't use that section at all. Like I just kept pretending it wasn't there. Uh, but I do talk a bit about smoothies and I use this smoothie recipe book. It's Zero Belly. It's David Zink Zanko. Um, I believe he's the author of Eat This, Not That. No. No, not the one I'm thinking of. Yes, the author of Eat This, Not That. Um, Zero Belly Diet, Zero Belly Cookbook. We tried the Zero Belly Cookbook and we didn't like a lot of the stuff in it. Um, most of it is seafood and fish, which we don't eat in my family. Um, but I will try to find a link for that. It'll probably be an Amazon link or something similar. And then I also use a recipe journal. This one is from Erin Condren. Um, there will be a link down below for this also. And I'll just kind of show you. It's just, here's the ingredients list. Here's the directions. Here's like this categories you can put it in. There's a second page for more directions and notes for every recipe. Um, and it's already pre-tab. You have appetizers, side dishes, entrees, desserts, and more recipes, which is great. And, um, I do mention in my, in the next section that I, this is pretty empty. I don't want to put recipes in here that we don't love. Um, I feel like that's a waste. So it's pretty empty right now because we're still trying out all the things but that's kind of where we're at. So let's get into this weekly meal planning. And if you guys like it, then we'll keep doing meal planning or maybe try a monthly meal plan. Um, anyway, let's get into this next section. Okay, so like I mentioned in my intro, this is my Silk and Sonder. I have a whole video on this. I will leave a card um, above at some point in this video. Um, and then I also have a recipe keeper recipe book. Um, it's a recipe journal. This is from Erin Condren. I will link this in my description box below. Um, this is fairly new for me, so it's not completely filled and I don't want to fill it with recipes I don't like. So that is why this is still pretty empty. Um, but I will link that below for you guys. But let's just kind of um, get into it. So I'm looking at my recipe folder on my computer right there in front of me. And um, if you guys are interested in any of in trying any of these recipes, I can leave you links as to where I got them. Most of these are from meal services like Every Plate and HelloFresh. So I'm not 100% sure. I can try to find the links, but I'm not 100% sure if they're all going to be on the website available to use. Um, but let's see. So for breakfast, this is for this week that you're seeing this. I'm filming it a little bit early. Um, but it's for the week of May 24th through the 30th. So I'm just going to do breakfast. Every morning is going to be a smoothie. Ooh, no, I'll do smoothies. Those are super easy. I'll do it for the weekdays. That's when I work um, my regular job. And then I'm home on the weekends. 
And then lunch is also typically a smoothie. I usually take two. Um, they're super filling. We do protein smoothies. Um, um, as I was saying, the smoothies that we do are protein smoothies. We use the Zero Belly smoothie recipes, and these are just, some of them are just so good. Some of them are not that great, but um, as you can see, we've tried a lot. These are my favorites that I've earmarked with these little tabs. And so that's just kind of how we do that. Um, so I'll do like a fruit one for breakfast and then like a green veggie one for lunch. So I'm going to go ahead and also put smoothie here because I usually have my lunch while I'm at work and this is just the easiest. Smoothie, smoothie. Okay, and then for snacks, I'm gonna do granola. And I don't change um, this kind of stuff that much. Like, I just keep a bag of granola in my bag. And then it keeps me from snacking on stuff at work. Okay. And then, let's see, breakfast, lunch, and snacks on the weekends. Breakfast will still probably be a smoothie. Um, my son usually eats cereal, but I'm not a big cereal eater. It'll be smoothie, coffee, of course, but I'm not going to include all the drinks in there. Um, lunch will probably, let's see, um, I don't think it's supposed to be super nice out. It's supposed to be a little dreary out this weekend. So we'll probably just stay home instead of doing like picnics. So we'll probably do salads and sandwiches. Um, and yes, I mean like we just make a big plate salad and just eat that. And my five-year-old, he loves salads. And then snacks will probably still be granola. Um, I really, I just love it. Um, it's a nice, easy snack. I like crunchy snacks, and the granola keeps me from reaching for, like, popcorn or chips or mostly chips. Um, and then let's see, for dinner... I've got a whole page here of like recipe ideas and I know I'm gonna want chicken pita pockets at some point, but I do work these days. And that is a really simple, quick, easy recipe. So maybe we'll do that on Monday because Mondays are days that I just don't wanna do anything. Um, but if I um, cook up the chicken like Sunday night or Sunday afternoon, then it'll be super easy because everything will, like the hardest part will be done. So we'll do chicken pita pockets on Monday. Tuesday, I think we're going to do, um, maybe I'm trying not to like need us to cook inside a whole lot. So maybe we'll do um, steak, and we can do that on the grill. So we will do um, sirloin and probably asparagus, because we can make asparagus real easy on the grill. And this is what I love about summer, guys, is all of the barbecue stuff. Um, let's see. Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm thinking maybe maybe a pork loin. Um, we've got a bunch of those in our freezer. Uh, we like to, they're like this big. We like to buy them from the grocery store when they're on sale, and they're already pre-seasoned. They're wrapped. All we have to do is open them and cook them. So it'll be pork loin with veggies. 
um, Thursday, one of these, some of these days we're going to have to cook inside. I do know that, but the l least amount of time we can turn the oven on, um, the better. So, although maybe this one pan chicken Alfredo. And that way it's on the uh, stove top instead of the oven. One pan chicken Alfredo. And it gets less hot doing that. And then I think for Friday, Friday is one of my longer work days. I tend to work a little bit later. Um, but it's also the end of my week, so I'm feeling a little bit better. But I think I might want to try this prosciutto wrapped chicken. Oh, maybe I'll do that on the weekend, though, because it's going to be dreary, and I don't know if we're going to be able to grill. So, prosciutto wrapped chicken. So then, Friday, we'll probably want to grill something, um, but it won't be steak. It'll probably be, we eat a lot of chicken in my house, actually. So it'll probably be like some kind of chicken. Oh, maybe we'll do burgers. We'll do burgers with veggies and fries. So then the prosciutto wrapped chicken. These, um, some of these meals are the recipes that I have and they already have like side dish instructions with them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then for Sunday, it's also supposed to be a little dreary. So we'll make something inside and let's see, we've got burgers, chicken, we have chicken twice. Oh, chicken three times. Pork loin. <clears throat> Maybe we will try this ravioli bake. One pot ravioli bake. That'll be a good Sunday dinner. Also, one pot and a bake makes it real easy to prep like smoothies and stuff for the next week. And then so here I'll just go through and put all of the ingredients from dinner that we'll need so we can do grocery shopping. Um, the smoothies, we just kind of make a bunch ahead of time and then I just grab two from the freezer or I grab, I put one in the fridge the night before and then I grab that one and then one that's in the freezer for my lunch for each day. So that's kind of how that's going. Okay. There is my weekly meal plan. Um, as long as we can stick to it, I think it'll be good. That is our biggest problem is not, not sticking to the meal plan. Um, and then we have all of these ingredients for a meal plan that we don't do. So let's, we're going to give this a try. Um, if you guys want any of the recipes that I'm using, um, let me know. I will try to link what I can down below, um, for the ones that I use like a recipe for. But like I said, a lot of the recipes that we're using are like older recipes that we've gotten from HelloFresh or Every Plate boxes that we really enjoyed or um, a couple of the boxes we got and then we never made anything. So all the ingredients just kind of went to waste. I know. Um, but we still had the recipe cards. So... Um, if you guys are interested in any of the recipes, I'll try to leave them linked below. If you like these kind of videos, let me know, um, and I'll keep doing them, but that's just kind of where we're at. I will for sure let you know how this, how this meal plan goes, if we followed it or not. Um, I'll try to update my Instagram with everything. Um, so go check me out over there. It's eczema and curls. So anyway... I'm going to end this here and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.